Hi everyone, it's Richard Payne here from Invicta Property Investments and Keller Williams Realty here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Hidden costs of real estate. Everybody at the moment is getting really seduced by uh, increasing property investment prices, by increasing rents, the decreased vacancies we're getting here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and of course the retirement nest egg because everybody wants their income properties to grow, to get bigger and to actually provide them with some kind of nest egg because the government and the stock market are not providing the gains. So, hidden costs. First one, inspection costs. There are going to be expenses you're going to incur as a real estate investor when you start looking at income properties. The first one is going to be your inspection costs. Now, one of the big things is it's about $600, $500, dollars to get your income property inspected. But that can result in further expenses down the road. So, don't forget, it's not just one income expense or one expense you're going to get from hidden costs. There are more to come, so be aware of them. The second one that we're talking about, mortgage fees. If you're going into an income property and you're not doing 20% down, you're going to have mortgage fees. CMHC insurance, you're going to get the 5 the 10 the 15% down payments. You're going to get insurance, so make sure you know what those mortgage fees are. Don't forget as well, title insurance, really, really critical nowadays. For only like three, four hundred dollars, you can get title insurance on the properties. That means that there are no issues if you find out that your borderline is actually uh, on the neighbor's property and they want that line back. Now you've got title insurance, not a problem. Third one, now, we're looking at expenses of the building. So unfortunately, there are going to be expenses with running your building. So these are all the utility costs. These are the electricity, if you're paying for the electricity. There's water, there's heating, um, there's property taxes, there's insurance. These are all the expenses you absolutely got to know what's going on. And then the next one, property management fees. The whole point of real estate investing is that your highest and best use of time is not to manage the property. You're meant to be finding those deals, getting the financing, finding joint venture partners, carry on building your portfolio. But somebody's going to have to manage your properties, so make sure you budget for those property expenses from a property management point of view. Fifth one, regular and routine maintenance. Budget for it. Put money aside for it when you have great cash flow months. Your property has to cash flow with routine and regular maintenance included in it. But that's the budget, that's the analysing. Make sure when you're actually in the real world, you're starting to cover some money for this one. Number six, vacancy. So we've got the sad face because yes, it's never great when you get a vacancy. But again, your job as the real estate investor is to make sure you're a genius marketer and you minimise this number as much as possible. Budget for it. And then the final cost, capital gains. Maybe you're going to sell them. Maybe you're a buy and hold and never selling them. But capital gains on a primary residence after about two years, now check with your accountant, there's the disclaimer, check with your accountant, you can actually get away with capital gains as being 100% tax free. Not the case with an income property. It's not your primary residence. So you need to talk to your accountant, find out how much that capital gain is. So those are the seven, quickly counting, the seven hidden costs of real estate investing. Know them, manage them, minimize those expenses, and you're in for a great ride up to a fantastic income property. If you need to get hold of me, you can get hold of me, Richard, at invictaproperties.ca, 902 489 1804, because as always, we're here to make your real estate simple.